HSL and HSV are the two most common cylindrical coordinate representations of points in an RGB color model. Developed in the 1970s for computer graphics applications, HSL and HSV are used today in color pickers, in image editing software, and less commonly in image analysis and computer vision. The two representations rearrange the geometry of RGB in an attempt to be more intuitive and perceptually relevant than the Cartesian representation, by mapping the values into a cylinder loosely inspired by a traditional color wheel. The angle around the central vertical axis corresponds to hue, and the distance from the axis corresponds to saturation. These first two values give the two schemes the H and S in their names. The height corresponds to a third value, the system's representation of the perceived luminance in relation to the saturation. Perceived luminance is a notoriously difficult aspect of color to represent in a digital format, and this has given rise to two systems attempting to solve this issue, HSL and HSV or HSB. A third model, HSI, common in computer vision applications, attempts to balance the advantages and disadvantages of the other two systems. While typically consistent, these definitions are not standardized, and the abbreviations are colloquially interchangeable for any of these three or several other related cylindrical models. Note also that while HUE and HSL and HSV refers to the same attribute, their definitions of saturation differ dramatically. Both of these representations are used widely in computer graphics, but both are also criticized for not adequately separating color-making attributes and for their lack of perceptual uniformity. This means that the color displayed on one monitor for a given HSV value is unlikely to exactly match the color seen on another monitor unless the two are precisely adjusted to absolute color spaces. Other, more computationally intensive models, such as CIELAB or CIECAM02 are said to better achieve the goal of accurate and uniform color display, but their adoption has been slow. HSL and HSV were widely adopted as a standard alternative to RGB in the early days of color computers due to their low processing time requirements, and their similarity to traditional artists' color theory. Even in the case of digital artists, who generally come to recognize the flaws of HSL-HSB systems fairly quickly, it is simpler to learn to work around the flaws of a familiar system of color representation than to relearn their entire way of thinking about color by adapting to the less intuitive RGB system of color mixing. Thus, in spite of their flaws, HSL and HSV have proven difficult to replace. Basic Principle HSL and HSV are both cylindrical geometries, with hue, their angular dimension, starting at the red primary at zero a degree, passing through the green primary at 120 a degree and the blue primary at 240 a degree, and then wrapping back to red at 360 a degree. In each geometry, the central vertical axis comprises the neutral, achromatic, or gray colors, ranging from black at lightness 0 or value 0, the bottom, to white at lightness 1 or value 1, the top. In both geometries, the additive primary and secondary colors are euro red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta euro, and linear mixtures between adjacent pairs of them, sometimes called pure colors, are arranged around the outside edge of the cylinder with saturation 1. In HSV these have value 1 while in HSL they have lightness of 1 half. In HSV, mixing these pure colors with white a euro producing so-called tints a euro reduces saturation while mixing them with black a euro producing shades a euro leaves saturation unchanged. In HSL, both tints and shades have full saturation, and only mixtures with both black and white a euro called tones a euro have saturation less than one. Because these definitions of saturation a euro and which very dark or very light near neutral colors, for instance a euro florin or a euro florin, are considered fully saturated a euro conflict with the intuitive notion of color purity, often a conic or biconic solid is drawn instead, with what this article calls chroma as its radial dimension, instead of saturation. Confusingly, such diagrams usually label this radial dimension saturation, blurring or erasing the distinction between saturation and chroma. As described below, computing chroma is a helpful step in the derivation of each model. 
because such an intermediate model a euro with dimensions hue, chroma, and HSV value or HSL lightness a euro takes the shape of a cone or bicone, HSV is often called the Heeksicon model while HSL is often called the Beheeksicon model. Motivation Most televisions, computer displays, and projectors produce colors by combining red, green, and blue light in varying intensities a euro the so-called RGB additive primary colors. The resulting mixtures in RGB color space can reproduce a wide variety of colors. However, the relationship between the constituent amounts of red, green, and blue light and the resulting color is unintuitive, especially for inexperienced users, and for users familiar with subtractive color mixing of paints or traditional artists a euro unregistered trademark models based on tints and shades. Furthermore, Neither additive nor subtractive color models define color relationships the same way the human eye does. For example, imagine we have an RGB display whose color is controlled by three sliders ranging from 0 a Euro 255, one controlling the intensity of each of the red, green, and blue primaries. If we begin with a relatively colorful orange a Euro florin, with sRGB values are equals 217, G equals 118, B equals 33, and want to reduce its colorfulness by half to a less saturated orange a euro florin, we would need to drag the sliders to decrease up by 31, increase G by 24, and increase B by 59, as pictured below. Needless to say, these numbers seem mostly arbitrary. In an attempt to accommodate more traditional and intuitive color mixing models, Computer graphics pioneers at PARC and NYIT developed the HSV model in the mid-1970s, formally described by Alvy Ray Smith in the August 1978 issue of Computer Graphics. In the same issue, Job Love and Greenberg described the HSL model a euro, whose dimensions they labeled hue, relative chroma, and intensity a euro, and compared it to HSV. Their model was based more upon how colors are organized and conceptualized in human vision in terms of other color-making attributes, such as hue, lightness, and chroma. As well as upon traditional color mixing methods a euro for example, in painting a euro that involve mixing brightly colored pigments with black or white to achieve lighter, darker, or less colorful colors. The following year, 1979, at SIGGRAPH. Tektronix introduced graphics terminals using HSL for color designation, and the Computer Graphics Standards Committee recommended it in their annual status report. These models were useful not only because they were more intuitive than raw RGB values, but also because the conversions to and from RGB were extremely fast to compute, they could run in real time on the hardware of the 1970s. Consequently, these models and similar ones have become ubiquitous throughout image editing and graphics software since then. Some of their uses are described below. Formal derivation. Color making attributes. The dimensions of the HSV and HSL geometries are Euro simple transformations of the not perceptually based RGB model a Euro are not directly related to the photometric color making attributes of the same names as defined by scientists such as the CIE or ASTM. Nonetheless, it is worth reviewing those definitions before leaping into the derivation of our models. Hue, the attribute of a visual sensation according to which an area appears to be similar to one of the perceived colors, red, yellow, green, and blue, or to a combination of two of them. Intensity, radiance, the total amount of light passing through a particular area. Luminance, the radiance weighted by the effect of each wavelength on a typical human observer, measured in candela per square meter. Often the term luminance is used for the relative luminance, yn, wherein is the luminance of the reference white point. Luma, the weighted sum of gamma corrected ra euro squared, ga euro squared, and ba euro squared values, and used in ya euro squared CBCR, for JPEG compression and video transmission. Brightness, the attribute of a visual sensation according to which an area appears to emit more or less light. Lightness, value, the brightness relative to the brightness of a similarly illuminated white. Colorfulness, the attribute of a visual sensation according to which the perceived color of an area appears to be more or less chromatic. Chroma, 
the colorfulness relative to the brightness of a similarly illuminated white. Saturation, the colorfulness of a stimulus relative to its own brightness. Brightness and colorfulness are absolute measures, which usually describe the spectral distribution of light entering the eye, while lightness and chroma are measured relative to some white point, and are thus often used for descriptions of surface colors, remaining roughly constant even as brightness and colorfulness change with different illumination. Saturation can be defined as either the ratio of colorfulness to brightness or of chroma to lightness. General approach, HSL, HSV, and related models can be derived via geometric strategies, or can be thought of as specific instances of a generalized LHS model. The HSV and HSL model builders took an RGB cube a euro with constituent amounts of red, green, and blue light in a color denoted R, G, B, A, 0, 1, a euro, and tilted it on its corner, so that black rested at the origin with white directly above it along the vertical axis, then measured the hue of the colors in the cube by their angle around that axis, starting with red at 0 a degree. Then they came up with a characterization of brightness lightness, and defined saturation to range from zero along the axis to one at the most colorful point for each pair of other parameters. Hue and chroma. In each of our models, we calculate both hue and what this article will call chroma, after Job Love and Greenberg, in the same way a euro that is, the hue of a color has the same numerical values in all of these models, as does its chroma. If we take our tilted RGB cube, and project it onto the chromaticity plane perpendicular to the neutral axis, our projection takes the shape of a hexagon, with red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta at its corners. Hue is roughly the angle of the vector to a point in the projection, with red at zero a degree, while chroma is roughly the distance of the point from the origin. More precisely, both hue and chroma in this model are defined with respect to the hexagonal shape of the projection. The chroma is the proportion of the distance from the origin to the edge of the hexagon. In the lower part of the diagram to the right, this is the ratio of length OPO per euro squared, or alternately the ratio of the radii of the two hexagons. This ratio is the difference between the largest and smallest values among R, G, or B in a color. To make our definitions easier to write, we Euro unregistered trademark LL define these maximum and minimum component values as M and M, respectively. To understand why chroma can be written as MAM, notice that any neutral color, with R equals G equals B, projects onto the origin and so has zero chroma. Thus if we add or subtract the same amount from all three of R, G, and B, we move vertically within our tilted cube, and do not change the projection. Therefore, the two colors and project on the same point, and have the same chroma. The chroma of a color with one of its components equal to zero is simply the maximum of the other two components. This chroma is M in the particular case of a color with a zero component, and MAM in general. The hue is the proportion of the distance around the edge of the hexagon which passes through the projected point, originally measured on the range, zero, one, but now typically measured in degrees. 0 a degree, 360 a degree. For points which project onto the origin in the chromaticity plane, hue is undefined. Mathematically, this definition of hue is written piecewise. Sometimes, neutral colors are assigned a hue of 0 a degree for convenience of representation. These definitions amount to a geometric warping of hexagons into circles, each side of the hexagon is mapped linearly onto a 60 a degree arc of the circle. After such a transformation, hue is precisely the angle around the origin and chroma the distance from the origin, the angle and magnitude of the vector pointing to a color. Sometimes for image analysis applications, this hexagon to circle transformation is skipped, and hue and chroma are defined by the usual Cartesian to polar coordinate transformations. The easiest way to derive those is via a pair of Cartesian chromaticity coordinates which we Euro unregistered trademark LL call I plus or minus and I squared. The Athan 2 function, a two-argument arc tangent, computes the angle from a Cartesian coordinate pair. The first argument is the vertical or y-axis value, and the second argument is the horizontal or x-axis value. In some computer programs, like Excel, 
the order is reversed. Notice that these two definitions of hue nearly coincide, with a maximum difference between them for any color of about 1.12 a degree a euro, which occurs at 12 particular hues, for instance H equals 13.38 a degree, H2 equals 12.26 a degree a euro, and with H equals H2 for every multiple of 30 a degree. The two definitions of chroma differ more substantially, they are equal at the corners of our hexagon, but at points halfway between two corners, such as H equals H2 equals 30 a degree, we have C equals 1, but C2 equals a sha 3 quarters of per mil 0.866, a difference of about 13.4%. Lightness While the definition of hue is relatively uncontroversial a euro it roughly satisfies the criterion that colors of the same perceived hue should have the same numerical hue a euro the definition of a lightness or value dimension is less obvious, there are several possibilities depending on the purpose and goals of the representation. Here are four of the most common, the simplest definition is just the average of the three components, in the HSI model called intensity. This is simply the projection of a point onto the neutral axis a euro the vertical height of a point in our tilted cube. The advantage is that, together with Euclidean distance calculations of hue and chroma, this representation preserves distances and angles from the geometry of the RGB cube. In the HSV Hexcon model, value is defined as the largest component of a color, Rm above. This places all three primaries, and also all of the secondary colors a euro cyan, yellow, and magenta a euro into a plane with white, forming a hexagonal pyramid out of the RGB cube. In the HSLB Hexcon model, Lightness is defined as the average of the largest and smallest color components. This definition also puts the primary and secondary colors into a plane, but a plane passing halfway between white and black. The resulting color solid is a double cone similar to Ostwalder Euro unregistered trademark S, shown above. A more perceptually relevant alternative is to use Luma, ya Euro squared, as a lightness dimension. Luma is the weighted average of gamma corrected R. G, and B, based on their contribution to perceived luminance, long used as the monochromatic dimension in color television broadcast. For the REC 709 primaries used in SGB, ya euro squared 709 equals 0 0.21 R plus 0 0.72 G plus 0 0.07 B. For the REC 601 NTSC primaries, Ya euro squared 601 equals 0 0.30 a plus 0 0.59 g plus 0 0.11 b. For other primaries different coefficients should be used. All four of these leave the neutral axis alone. That is, for colors with r equals g equals b, any of the four formulations yields a lightness equal to the value of r, g, or b. For a graphical comparison, see fig 13 below. Saturation. If we encode colors in a Hrachroma or Hrachroma model, not all combinations of lightness and chroma are meaningful, that is, half of the colors we can describe using HA, 0 a degree, 360 a degree, CA, 0, 1, and BA, 0, 1, fall outside the RGB gamut. The creators of these models considered this a problem for some uses. For example, in a color selection interface with two of the dimensions in a rectangle and the third on a slider, half of that rectangle is made of unused space. Now imagine we have a slider for lightness, the user a euro unregistered trademark s intent when adjusting this slider is potentially ambiguous, how should the software deal with out of gamut colors? Or conversely, if the user has selected as colorful as possible a dark purple a euro florin, and then shifts the lightness slider upward. What should be done, would the user prefer to see a lighter purple still as colorful as possible for the given hue and lightness a euro florin, or a lighter purple of exactly the same chroma as the original color a euro florin? To solve problems such as these, the HSL and HSV models scale the chroma so that it always fits into the range, 0, 1, for every combination of hue and lightness or value, calling the new attribute saturation in both cases. To calculate either, Simply divide the chroma by the maximum chroma for that value or lightness. The HSI model commonly used for computer vision, which takes H2 as a hue dimension and the component average I as a lightness dimension, 
does not attempt to fill a cylinder by its definition of saturation. Instead of presenting color choice or modification interfaces to end users, the goal of HSI is to facilitate separation of shapes in an image. Saturation is therefore defined in line with the psychometric definition, chroma relative to lightness. See the use in image analysis section of this article. Using the same name for these three different definitions of saturation leads to some confusion, as the three attributes describe substantially different color relationships. In HSV and HSI, the term roughly matches the psychometric definition of a chroma of a color relative to its own lightness, but in HSL it does not come close. Even worse, the word saturation is also often used for one of the measurements we call chroma above. Examples all parameter values shown below are in the interval, 0, 1, except those for H and H2 which are in the interval, 0 a degree, 360 a degree. Use in end-user software. The original purpose of HSL and HSV in similar models, and their most common current application, is in color selection tools. At their simplest, some such color pickers provide three sliders, one for each attribute. Most, however, show a two-dimensional slice through the model, along with a slider controlling which particular slice is shown. The latter type of GUI exhibits great variety, because of the choice of cylinders, hexagonal prisms, or cones by cones that the models suggest. Several color choosers from the 1990s are shown to the right, most of which have remained nearly unchanged in the intervening time. Today, nearly every computer color chooser uses HSL or HSV at least as an option. Some more sophisticated variants are designed for choosing whole sets of colors, basing their suggestions of compatible colors on the HSL or HSV relationships between them. Most web applications needing color selection also base their tools on HSL or HSV, and pre-packaged open source color choosers exist for most major web front-end frameworks. The CSS3 specification allows web authors to specify colors for their pages directly with HSL coordinates. HSL and HSV are sometimes used to define gradients for data visualization, as in maps or medical images. For example, the popular GIS program ArcGIS historically applied customizable HSV-based gradients to numerical geographical data. Image editing software also commonly includes tools for adjusting colors with reference to HSL or HSV coordinates, or to coordinates in a model based on the intensity, or luma defined above. In particular, tools with a pair of hue, and saturation sliders are commonplace, dating to at least the late 1980s, but various more complicated color tools have also been implemented. For instance, the Unix Image Viewer and Color Editor XV allowed six user-definable hue ranges to be rotated and resized, included a dial-like control for saturation, and a curves-like interface for controlling value Euro C Fig 17. The Image Editor Picture Window Pro includes a color correction tool which affords complex remapping of points in a hue saturation plane relative to either HSL or HSV space. Video editors also use these models. For example, both Avid and Final Cut Pro include color tools based on HSL or a similar geometry for use adjusting the color in video. With the Avid tool, users pick a vector by clicking a point within the hue saturation circle to shift all the colors at some lightness level by that vector. Since version 4.0, Adobe Photoshop a Euro unregistered trademark s luminosity, hue, saturation and color blend modes composite layers using a luma hue color geometry. These have been copied widely, but several imitators use the HSL or HSV geometries instead. Use an image analysis. HSL, HSV, HSI, or related models are often used in computer vision and image analysis for feature detection or image segmentation. The applications of such tools include object detection, for instance in robot vision. Object recognition, for instance of faces, text, or license plates. Content-based image retrieval. And analysis of medical images. For the most part, computer vision algorithms used on color images are straightforward extensions to algorithms designed for grayscale images, 
for instance k-means or fuzzy clustering of pixel colors, or canny edge detection. At the simplest, each color component is separately passed through the same algorithm. It is important, therefore, that the features of interest can be distinguished in the color dimensions used. Because the R, G, and B components of an object a Euro unregistered trademark S color in a digital image are all correlated with the amount of light hitting the object, and therefore with each other, image descriptions in terms of those components make object discrimination difficult. Descriptions in terms of Huachroma or hue saturation are often more relevant. Starting in the late 1970s, Transformations like HSV or HSO were used as a compromise between effectiveness for segmentation and computational complexity. They can be thought of as similar in approach and in turn to the neural processing used by human color vision, without agreeing in particulars, if the goal is object detection, roughly separating hue, lightness, and chroma or saturation is effective, but there is no particular reason to strictly mimic human color response. John Kender a Euro unregistered trademark S 1976 master a Euro unregistered trademark S thesis proposed the HSI model. Ota al. Instead used a model made up of dimensions similar to those we have called I, I plus or minus, and I squared. In recent years, such models have continued to see wide use, as their performance compares favorably with more complex models, and their computational simplicity remains compelling. Disadvantages. While HSL, HSV, and related spaces serve well enough to, for instance, choose a single color, they ignore much of the complexity of color appearance. Essentially, they trade off perceptual relevance for computation speed, from a time in computing history when more sophisticated models would have been too computationally expensive. HSL and HSV are simple transformations of RGB which preserve symmetries in the RGB cube unrelated to human perception, such that its R, G, and B corners are equidistant from the neutral axis, and equally spaced around it. If we plot the RGB gamut in a more perceptually uniform space, such as Sialab, it becomes immediately clear that the red, green, and blue primaries do not have the same lightness or chroma, or evenly spaced hues. Furthermore, different RGB displays use different primaries, and so have different gamuts. Because HSL and HSV are defined purely with reference to some RGB space, they are not absolute color spaces, the physical colors HSL or HSV value defines for a given device screen depend on the exact colors of the red, green, and blue primaries the hardware produces and on the gamma correction used to determine the ratios of pixels to activate. Therefore numerical HSL or HSV values describe a different color for each unique RGB device, and each device requires its own color management profile to correct for these variances. If we take an image and extract the hue, saturation, and lightness or value components, and then compare these to the components of the same name as defined by color scientists, we can quickly see the difference, perceptually. For example, Examine the following images of a fire breather. Ciela Bell is a CIE defined quantity intended to match perceptual lightness response, and it is plain that L appears similar in lightness to the original color image. Luma is roughly similar, but differs somewhat at high chroma. HSLL and HSVV, by contrast, diverge substantially from perceptual lightness. Though none of the dimensions in these spaces match their perceptual analogues. The value of HSV and the saturation of HSL are particular offenders. In HSV, the blue primary a Eurofluorin and white a Eurofluorin are held to have the same value, even though perceptually the blue primary has somewhere around 10% of the luminance of white. In HSL, a mix of 100% red, 100% green, 90% blue a Euro that is. A very light yellow a Eurofluorin a Euro is held to have the same saturation as the green primary a Eurofluorin, even though the former color has almost no chroma or saturation by the conventional psychometric definitions. Such perversities led Cynthia Brewer, expert in color scheme choices for maps and information displays, to tell the American Statistical Association, if these problems make HSL and HSV problematic for choosing colors or color schemes they make them much worse for image adjustment. 
HSL and HSV, as Brewer mentioned, confound perceptual color making attributes, so that changing any dimension results in non uniform changes to all three perceptual dimensions, and distorts all of the color relationships in the image. For instance, Rotating the hue of a pure dark blue a year of florin toward green a year of florin will also reduce its perceived chroma, and increase its perceived lightness, but the same hue rotation will have the opposite impact on lightness and chroma of a lighter bluish green a year of a year of florin to a year of florin. In the example below, the image on the left is the original photograph of a green turtle. In the middle image, we have rotated the hue of each color by a 30 a degree while keeping HSV value and saturation or HSL lightness and saturation constant. In the image on the right, we make the same rotation to the HSL HSV hue of each color, but then we force the Cyanab lightness to remain constant. Notice how the hue shifted middle version without such a correction dramatically changes the perceived lightness relationships between colors in the image. In particular, the turtle a Euro unregistered trademark S shell is much darker and has less contrast, and the background water is much lighter. Because hue is a circular quantity, represented numerically with a discontinuity at 360 a degree, it is difficult to use in statistical computations or quantitative comparisons, analysis requires the use of circular statistics. Furthermore, hue is defined piecewise, in 60 a degree chunks, where the relationship of lightness, value, and chroma to R, G, and B depends on the hue chunk in question. This definition introduces discontinuities, corners which can plainly be seen in horizontal slices of HSL or HSV. Charles Poynton, digital video expert, lists the above problems with HSL and HSV in his color FAQ, and concludes that, other cylindrical coordinate color models. The creators of HSL and HSV were far from the first to imagine colors fitting into conical spherical shapes, with neutrals running from black to white in a central axis, and hues corresponding to angles around that axis. Similar arrangements date back to the 18th century, and continue to be developed in the most modern and scientific models. A pair of the most influential older models are Philip Otter under Euro unregistered trademark S1810 for Ben Kugel and the early 20th century Munzel color system. Albert Munzel began with a spherical arrangement in his 1905 book A Color Notation, but he wished to properly separate color-making attributes into separate dimensions, which he called hue, value, and chroma, and after taking careful measurements of perceptual responses, he realized that no symmetrical shape would do, so he reorganized his system into a lumpy blob. Munzel a Euro unregistered trademark S system became extremely popular, the de facto reference for American color standards a Euro used not only for specifying the color of paints and crayons, but also, for example, electrical wire, beer, and soil color a Euro, because it was organized based on perceptual measurements, specified colors via an easily learned and systematic triple of numbers, because the color chip sold in the Munzel Book of Color covered a wide gamut and remained stable over time, and because it was effectively marketed by Munzel a Euro unregistered trademark S company. In the 1940s, the Optical Society of America made extensive measurements, and adjusted the arrangement of Munzel colors, issuing a set of renotations. The trouble with the Munzel system for computer graphics applications is that its colors are not specified via any set of simple equations but only via its foundational measurements, effectively a lookup table. Converting from RGB a Munzel requires interpolating between that table a Euro unregistered trademark S entries, and is extremely computationally expensive in comparison with converting from RGB a HSL or RGB a HSV which only requires a few simple arithmetic operations. In densitometry, a model quite similar to the hue defined above is used for describing colors of CMYK process inks. In 1953, Frank Preussel developed two geometric arrangements of hue, the Preussel hue circle, and the Preussel hue hexagon, analogous to RH and H2, respectively, but defined relative to idealized cyan, yellow, and magenta in colors. The preusal hue error of an ink indicates the difference in the hue circle between its color and the hue of the corresponding idealized ink color. The grayness of an ink is mm, 
where M and M are the minimum and maximum among the amounts of idealized cyan, magenta, and yellow in a density measurement. The Swedish natural color system, widely used in Europe, takes a similar approach to the Ostwald by Cohn shown earlier. Because it attempts to fit color into a familiarly shaped solid based on phenomenological instead of photometric or psychological characteristics, it suffers from some of the same disadvantages as HSL and HSV. In particular, its lightness dimension differs from perceived lightness, because it forces colorful yellow, red, green, and blue into a plane. The International Commission on Illumination developed the XYZ model for describing the colors of light spectra in 1931, but its goal was to match human visual metamorism, rather than to be perceptually uniform, geometrically. In the 1960s and 70s, attempts were made to transform XYZ colors into a more relevant geometry, influenced by the Munzel system. These efforts culminated in the 1976 Salouf and Sialab models. The dimensions of these models are Euro, and, respectively a Euro or Cartesian, based on the opponent process theory of color, but both are also often described using polar coordinates a Euro, or, where L is lightness, C is chroma, and H is hue angle. Officially, both Sialab and Salouf were created for their color difference metrics at EAB and EUV, particularly for use defining color tolerances, but both have become widely used as color order systems and color appearance models, including in computer graphics and computer vision. For example, gamut mapping in ICC color management is usually performed in Sialab space, and Adobe Photoshop includes a Sialab mode for editing images. Sialab and Salub geometries are much more perceptually relevant than many others such as a GB, HSL, HSV, Yervik or XYZ, but are not perceptually perfect, and in particular have trouble adapting to unusual lighting conditions. The CE Euro unregistered trademark S most recent model, CIECAM02, is more theoretically sophisticated and computationally complex than earlier models. Its aims are to fix several of the problems with models such as Sialab and Salouf, and to explain not only responses in carefully controlled experimental environments, but also to model the color appearance of real-world scenes. Its dimensions J, C, and H define a polar coordinate geometry. Converting to RGB, to convert from HSL or HSV to RGB, we essentially invert the steps listed above. First, we compute chroma, by multiplying saturation by the maximum chroma for a given lightness or value. Next, we find the point on one of the bottom three faces of the RGB cube which has the same hue and chroma as our color. Finally, we add equal amounts of R, G, and B to reach the proper lightness or value. From HSV. Given a color with hue HA, 0 a degree, 360 a degree, saturation SHSV a, 0. 1, and value VA, 0, 1, we first find chroma. Then we can find a point along the bottom three faces of the RGB cube, with the same hue and chroma as our color. Finally, we can find R, G, and B by adding the same amount to each component, to match value. From HSL, given an HSL color with hue HA, 0 a degree, 360 a degree, saturation SHSL a, 0, 1, and lightness LA, 0, 1, we can use the same strategy. First, we find chroma. Then we can, again, find a point along the bottom three faces of the RGB cube, with the same hue and chroma as our color. Finally, we can find R, G, and B by adding the same amount to each component, to match lightness. From Luma hue, given a color with hue HA, 0 a degree, 360 a degree, chroma CA, 0, 1, and luma ya euro squared 601 a, 0, 1, we can again use the same strategy. Since we already have H and C, we can straight away find our point along the bottom three faces of the RGB cube. Then we can find R, G, and B by adding the same amount to each component, to match luma. Swatches, mouse over the swatches below to see the R, G and B values for each swatch in a tooltip. HSV. HSL. Notes and references. Bibliography, Egoston, 
Max K Computer Graphics and Geometric Modeling, Implementation and Algorithms. London, Springer PPA 300 a Euro 306. ISBN A1 85233 818 0 Euro Unregistered Trademark S Book contains a description of HSV and HSL, and algorithms in pseudocode for converting to each from RGB, and back again. Fairchild, Mark D. Color Appearance Models. Addison Wesley This book do us in a Euro Unregistered Trademark T discuss HSL or HSV specifically but is one of the most readable and precise resources about current color science. Foley, JDAL Computer Graphics, Principles and Practice. Redwood City, California, Addison Wesley. ISBN A0-201-84840-6 of the Standard Computer Graphics Textbook of the 1990s, this tome has a chapter full of algorithms for converting between color models, in C. Alan Hanbury and Jean Serra. A 3D polar coordinate color representation suitable for image analysis. Pattern Recognition and Image Processing Group Technical Report 77 R, Job Love, George H. and Greenberg, Donald. Color Spaces for Computer Graphics. Computer Graphics 12, 20 Euro 25 DOI. 10.1145-965139.807362 A job love and Grahenberg Euro unregistered trademark S paper was the first describing the HSL model, which it compares to HSV. Kenai, Rolf G. Color Space and its Divisions, Color Order from Antiquity to the Present. New York, Wiley. ISBN A 978-0-471-32670-0 with this book only briefly mentions HSL and HSV, but is a comprehensive description of color order systems through history. Levelwitz, Heyman Herman, Gabor TGLHS, A Generalized Lightness, Hue and Saturation Color Model. CVGIP, Graphical Models and Image Processing 55. 271 Euro 285 DOI 101006 slash CGIP 1993.1019 of this paper explains how both HSL and HSV, as well as other similar models, can be thought of as specific variants of a more general GLHS model. Levelwitz and Herman provide pseudocode for converting from RGB to GLHS and back. McAvoy, Bruce. ColorVisionHandprint.com A. Especially the sections about modern color models, and modern color theory. McAvoy a Euro Unregistered Trademark S extensive site about color science and paint mixing is one of the best resources on the web. On this page, he explains the color making attributes, and the general goals and history of color order systems a Euro including HSL and HSV a Euro, and their practical relevance to painters. Point on. Charles. Frequently Asked Questions About Color are this self-published Frequently Asked Questions page, by digital video expert Charles Pointon, explains, among other things, why in his opinion these models are useless for the specification of accurate color, and should be abandoned in favor of more psychometrically relevant models. Smith, Alvy Ray. Color Gamut Transform Pairs. Computer Graphics 12. 12 a Euro 19 DOI, 10.1145 slash 965139.807361 This is the original paper describing the Heekscon model, HSV. Smith was a researcher at NYT Euro Unregistered Trademark S Computer Graphics Lab. He describes HSV a Euro Unregistered Trademark S use in an early digital painting program. External links, Demonstrative Color Conversion Applet. HSV Colors by Hector Zenel, The Wolfram Demonstrations Project. HSV Demonstration.